We just sold our kidneys in order to get access to this <laughs> castle and we've been told to sit in this shed. Won't let this moment pass us Wednesday morning and I'd, it's really really early but we've been told we're having pre-breakfast delivered so I'm gonna go see if it's arrived <gasps> it is. how cute is this I've never had pre-breakfast before this is supposed to be so you can have something to eat before you go down for your actual breakfast it looks like actual breakfast to me. <laughs> we have a little tiny baby croissant each and a little baby chocolate croissant each and grapefruit juice for Chris and apple juice for me. just checked out of the hotel. I'm really regretting not having my sunglasses. It's a glorious day. Well, at the moment anyway. We're just having a look around the park that is just outside the hotel we were staying at. One thing we've noticed quite a lot in Cheltenham is the amount of sirens that are going off. I think last night I lost count of how many really loud sirens, like um, ambulance, police, that sort of thing, going down this street. Well, it's ridiculous, there were so many. And then we left the, we, we checked out, and logged out, we checked out the hotel um, and went across the road and nearly got run over by a police car, unmarked police car, driving so fast I think he nearly came off the road. And then- a He probably rocked up onto two wheels, I swear, coming around that corner. And a police van, a yellow police van, I've never seen a yellow police van, so I don't know what's going on there. Crazy, crazy down the road. But it's like, it felt like every like hour at least there was something going on. I didn't realise Cheltenham was that sort of place. Anyone that lives near or around, is it? Let me know, comments down below. Jen seems to like these birds. How much do you like them? Cheltenham for a garden? Yeah. Cheltenham and we've gone a couple of miles down the road, I think it's about six miles, to Winchcombe to see Suderley Castle and it is beautiful here. The town is gorgeous, it's like a chocolate box town and the castle is out on a hill in the green and loveliness. Hi Chris. Hello. We just sold our kidneys in order to get access to this <laughs> castle and we've been told to sit in this shed. <laughs> And, it's and a decorated shed. Yes, lovely so, realis so, so. realistic decorations. Yeah. And we're gonna wait for a video. Ooh, I'm dark. We'll wait for a video. Ooh, in three minutes. Ages away. It is ages away. When we were buying our tickets on the way in to this castle that I've not seen yet, yes. um, <laughs> that we we bought some Cotswold Fudge Co. Fudge, and I gotta say, right, it's probably a bit mean to be saying not nice things about a company, but it is the world's worst fudge. It's the least fudge-like fudge that I have ever had. Yeah, number one, fudge shouldn't be crunchy. When my wife is eating it, sat on a chair next to me, and I can hear, uh, hear her eat it, not good. Flavours are a bit naff, and it's just really badly made. Don't, don't buy it, don't be fooled. You see fudge, and it's got Cotswold in the name, just ignore it, I don't care where it's from. Not worth the risk. Apparently this is called the Tithe Barn. I think it's missing a roof. It's not a very effective barn. Here's a little bit of information about it. Can you read that? I've got to be honest. I wouldn't mind living in a place like this. How glorious! Oh, and it comes with a free gen. Let's play fish or sharks, fish or sharks, fish or sharks. They're huge. They're massive. Ooh, stones. 
This guy was a bit hidden. It's a lot darker than it is on, on screen. And he scared the crap out of us. <laughs> In fact, if he, she starts moving, I'm gonna cry. The gardens are really pretty, but for some reason it smells like weed. I'm talking about weeds in the garden, I'm talking someone smoking cannabis. I think somebody should have done a better job of keeping up repairs. I could use a bed right now. Unfortunately, there's a creepy baby in this one. I don't know what's going on. We've just been reading a sign that said this is a christening gown and it was made in 1827 and has been used by the family ever since. Can you imagine putting your baby in a 200 year old gown? 200 year old gown. Surely there must be more to this dress because it's not leaving much to the imagination. There must be something that goes under or over it, right? Apparently this is a haunted staircase. If you see a ghost, let me know. Oh, there's one. Oh no, that's wife. Me? This looks like a contraption from a horror movie. Don't yeah, saw anybody. Look how pretty is that garden. Unfortunately, our back garden's too small for something like that. Right guys, this is something I've never seen before. This is the most opulent toilet I have ever seen. That's right, it's the Queen's toilet. This has to be the most beautiful pheasant I've ever seen. How magnificent is that tail? These, on the other hand, are fat and ugly. Done in our little castle walk. It's actually really, really good. Um, there's some museum-y bits in there that I'm not a big fan of. I can go to a museum anytime, pretty much for free, and get that information and looking at stuff. Mm -hmm. Jen seemed to like it, yeah. but it's probably, I think for Jen, it fleshes out history she already knows about. So when it talks about somebody, she's aware of what it's on about. But for me, I'm never really into history. I much prefer my geography, which meant that they talk about people I just don't know or care about. They're all dead. <laughs> But I like going into sort of like old buildings where they've set up rooms as they were or whatever and, and kind of get a feeling for what life might have been like back in the time. And that's what it really, it really gave to me really. I yeah. quite enjoyed that. Um, so I definitely recommend going if you're coming by. 15 pounds seemed quite steep at first. Mm. Um, but after having to wander around and there was guides there that you could ask questions and they're all really, really friendly. Um, I kind of felt it was well worth the money. Although, don't buy any fudge there. Unless they change the brand to something better. It's shit, don't do it. Anyway, back to the car. And then I think Ikea again. <laughs> Ikea again! again. We need more furniture. And some random sheep walking through a field. I'm not really sure they're supposed to be there. They seem pretty lost. Where are you going sheep? Where are you going? Uh oh, they're coming after us. We made it to Ikea, okay? I thought we'd been to this one before, but it turns out we haven't, and it's huge. Look at that! Normally when we go to Ikea, we go to the one in Coventry, um, and it's the closest. But occasionally we go to the one in Nottingham, which is probably about as far as this. Um, but it looks like this could be quite a bit easier to get to than the Nottingham one. Yeah. Um, but it's nice to see somewhere different. Oh, it's Ikea, I came the other day, but to a different Ikea. It's gonna be exactly the same inside. It's gonna be exactly the same but inside. Coventry Ikea is very different to the others because of all the, story, the multiple stories. So I'm really hungry and I think I'm gonna have to go straight. Can you go straight to the restaurant in Ikea? I bloody hope so, otherwise it's gonna be a long trek. I'm gonna have to do it twice. Pretty decent for just over a tenner. Got fish and chips and a cookie. Jen got a dime cake thing that looks amazing. And some, well, obligatory meatballs, I guess. She's off somewhere to go and get a drink. There she is. Oh, shut out of focus. There. Finally done at Ikea. You know the problem we had about getting stuff in the car the other day? I've got more boxes and less space because I've got... <laughs> <laughs> I've got the bloody, what's it called? Suitcases. Suitcases from our overnight, overnight stay. So, this is going to be fun. As if by magic again, it fits. I don't know how it's possible. Although, look at the state of the back seat. That's just chucked in there. We are nearly home now, and it has been such a long day. We've got loads done, and we still have a car full of furniture and suitcases and all sorts to empty. So, we are going to end the vlog here. Good night, guys, and wish us luck emptying the car. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. We've only been in Cheltenham for like two minutes, but it's so pretty. It is gorgeous. The sun is out and I'm so glad I've got my sunglasses. I wish I had my sunglasses. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs>